Hi, I'm Nancy Rathbun from Completely Quilted, and today I'm going to be demonstrating block six of the So Kind of Wonderful Curve It Up block of the month, which uses the Quick Curve Ruler. Today we're going to be sewing and cutting and completing our block six, which is the Curvy B Geese block, and it features halfway, half square triangles. So the first thing you're gonna do for your half square triangles is you're going to cut these squares from corner to corner to create a triangle. It's half a square. Okay. And then you're going to be cutting off these points. You're going to cut off a half inch on each. So I just lined up a half inch line on my ruler and cut off those little dog ears. Now we need to cut the curve on this ruler. So we're going to be using the curve of our ruler to cut this curve out to create curved half square triangle pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and make that cut. So that's my piece A. It's gonna be sewn together with the background and with some of our piece B. Now to cut our background fabrics, I'm going to measure five inches and mark a little line on each side here. Okay. I'm going to take my ruler and I want to make sure that point is lined up here and my curve is lined up at that mark and then at the corner as well. I'm going to cut that segment. Turn this around so I actually can get two out of each, cutting here and then also at the corner. So now I have two identical pieces that are going to be sewn together to create a half a square triangle block. We're also going to be sewing half square triangle blocks and cutting the focus print the same way. So you'll again mark five inches and make your cuts with your quick curve ruler. So this quilt is simply half square triangles and then they'll be repositioned. So we'll sew some with our focus print and then some with our background print. So we're going to be positioning this and sewing these half square triangles and then we can turn the blocks and complete the quilt. Now I'm using a quarter inch seam. And when I sew these half square triangles, it's going to be the same for each color. I want to have about a half inch from the very edge to where my point lines up on the block. I'm going to start stitching, keeping those angles separated. It's really easy to stretch this one. I like stopping with my needle down and just lifting up my presser foot to reposition that, being very careful not to overstretch or stretch at all those fabrics as I sew. And so there's one half square triangle block. Now I'm ready to square this up. These blocks are going to be pressed open to reduce the bulk when you go to sew all of them together. So both colors of your half square triangles are pressed open. 